Dianne Feinstein, the 90-year-old political icon, already facing public questions about her age and health, now at the center of a personal lawsuit filed on her behalf by her daughter, Catherine, aimed at the trustees of her late husband's estate. Despite actively serving in the U.S. Senate, Feinstein's daughter acting as her power of attorney. The suit accuses the trustees of, quote, financial elder abuse, claiming they are withholding funds the senator is entitled to. Feinstein's husband, Richard Bloom, died last year. The billionaire established a trust for his wife and his will that was designed to provide regular payments after he passed. The suit accuses the trustees of not properly funding the trust or providing Feinstein with her entitled income. Attorneys for the trustees fired back, saying in a statement, quote, the trustees have acted ethically and appropriately at all times. The same cannot be said for Catherine Feinstein. This filing is unconscionable. The new legal challenge adds to a growing bitter battle between Feinstein and her late husband's family. She's filed two similar lawsuits asking for access to her husband's fortune and in one filing claimed that she had, quote, incurred significant medical expenses as the result of her health issues. Feinstein's health has come under scrutiny after she missed three months of work in the Senate while recovering from a bout with shingles. She was briefly hospitalized last week after a fall and at times appeared to not understand her duties in the Senate. Yeah, just say I. Okay, just I. I. She's not alone in facing questions around her age. GOP leader Mitch McConnell recently froze during a press conference leading to concerns about his health. It's a pitiful thing to watch. Uh, we're really good people, both sides of the aisle, really deteriorate to the point where they're just a a shell of what they former were, but the voters know that. Now, Feinstein has resisted all calls to step down. She's pledged to serve the balance of her term, which ends at the beginning of 2025. Her office declined to comment on this lawsuit, and a spokesperson for Feinstein said that she was preoccupied when she appeared to be confused during that Senate vote last month. As for the incident involving Senator McConnell, his staff had said that he was feeling lightheaded at the time, but noted that he returned to answer reporters' questions. Craig? All right, Ryan Nobles from the Hill there. Ryan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.